when a force is applied on a body it resists the deformation so the stress is developed in the body but how to calculate that stress normal stress or shear stress on a plane where force is acting is easy to find because stress is equal to force divided by surface area on which the force acts consider this body with force acting on any of its normal plane like this then normal stress equals p divided by surface area of this plane similarly normal stress is found the same way whatever the plane is considered the shear stress on these normal planes is as easy to find as normal stress consider the same body with shear force acting on any of its planes then shear stress is equal to p divided by area we found the stresses both normal and shear easily on the planes where the force are acting but in reality a body can be divided into infinite planes this in this case as these planes are parallel to the plane where forces are directly acting the stresses are exactly same as these planes but how do we find the stresses both normal and shear on these planes well that's what this video is made for to find the stresses on these planes what is the normal stress on this plane and what is the shear stress on this plane these planes are called as oblique planes as they are inclined by some angle theta with the horizontal plane the stresses on an oblique plane are determined by the following two methods analytical method and graphical method let us talk about analytical method in this method stresses on the oblique plane are found analytically to illustrate this method take for example this member it have a uniform cross section area and for simplicity its thickness is 1 unit such that area a is equal to bc multiplied by 1 The bar is subjected to a tensile stress sigma 1 on the normal face AD and BC. Let the stresses on the oblique plane FC are to be calculated. The plane FC is inclined at an angle theta with the normal cross section BC. We have to find the normal stress sigma and shear stress tau on FC. These can be found by finding the normal force Pn and shear force Pt on this plane and then normal stress sigma can be found by Pn divided by area of this oblique plane and shear stress tau can be found by shear force Pt divided by area of this oblique plane in both these equations area of inclined plane fc is equal to length fc multiplied by thickness of this oblique plane which is equal to 1 therefore its area equals fc multiplied by 1 which equals fc as now we found the area we only need to find the normal force pn and shear force pt to find the both stresses on this plane let us first find pn We know the normal stress on normal plane BC is equal to sigma 1 which can be converted into force as stress is equal to force divided by area so force is equal to stress multiplied by area let's call the force P1 so P1 equals stress sigma sigma 1 multiplied by area which is BC multiplied by 1 which equals BC therefore p1 is equal to sigma multiplied by bc now here is the trick we need to do we can find normal stress pn by finding the component of p1 perpendicular to fc plane look at this diagram 
as the angle FCB is equal to theta, therefore this angle is theta 2. Therefore, Pn is equal to P1 cos theta. Similarly, this angle is 90 minus theta. Therefore, P2 is equal to P1 cos 90 minus theta, which equals P1 sine theta because cos 90 minus theta is sine theta. So we find the Pn and Pt. Upon putting the values of Pn in sigma n and Pt in tau, we get sigma n is equal to sigma cos square theta and sigma t or tau is equal to sigma by 2 sine of 2 theta. Here we go. We just find normal stress and shear stress on oblique plane by analytic method. Now let us solve a simple problem to fine tune what we learned so far. Take this rectangular bar of cross sectional area 1000 mm square. It's subjected to an axial load of 20 kN. We have to determine the normal stress and shear stress on this oblique section inclined at an angle of 30 degrees with normal cross section of bar. We have to find normal stress and shear stress by analytic method. We have found normal stress in analytic method is found by this relation and shear stress by this relation where sigma is stress on normal cross section which can be found by stress is equal to load divided by cross section area which equals 2000 newton divided by 1000 which equals 2 newton per mm square and theta is given as 30 degrees so we get Sigma n is equal to 1.5 Newton per millimeter square and tau is equal to 0 0.866 Newton per millimeter square. Now let us move on, the, on to the graphical method. Consider the same rectangular member subject to two tensile stresses sigma 1 and sigma 2 such that sigma 1 is more in magnitude than sigma 2. We are required to find the stresses on this oblique plane inclined by angle theta to the normal plane. Before we proceed, I want to tell you about the term's principal stresses. If only normal stress is acting on a plane and no shear stress, then this normal stress is called as principal stress. And as in our case, sigma 1 is greater in magnitude than sigma 2, therefore, Sigma 1 is called major principal stress and sigma 2 is called as minor principal stress. Graphical method have the following steps. Number first, draw two mutually perpendicular lines meeting at O. Number two, take OA equal to sigma 1 and OB equal to sigma 2 to some scale. Number three, Draw two concentric circles with radius OA and OB. Look at our member. Theta is angle made by oblique plane with this plane. As this plane is parallel to sigma 2, so we can say a theta is angle between oblique plane and sigma 2. So the step 4 follows as Draw a line Mn through O making angle theta with sigma 2. Mn represents our oblique plane. Number 5. Draw perpendicular to Mn at O meeting the two circles at D and C. Number 6. From C, draw a line CE perpendicular to OA and from D, draw DF perpendicular to CE. Seventh step is join OF. The OF represents the resultant stress on oblique plane. Number eight, perpendicular component of resultant stress OF is FG, 
which is parallel to MN. Therefore, it represents shear stress on oblique plane. OG is perpendicular to oblique plane MN. So, it represents the normal stress on oblique plane MN.